everyone if you see now we are going to do the cml many students are requesting to do the asa firewall in the cml so we are going to do that one now let me show so see here first you need to power on the cml as i am using the cml you can see so you need to power on the cml then you will get one ip here you need to type that ip in the browser so i can open any one browser and i can keep the browser ready once we get the ip we can type the ip in the browser <coughs> so here if you see this is ip 17.133 so let me do 192.168.17.133 so i will log in and you can see here let me go inside and here we need to write admin and the password whatever we set we need to put that one so let me try to log in so this is a cml i will add a new lab here if you see api add this one encounter an expected problem please remove the please report uh, problem to the support they are giving this one so we can what we can do here i log out also let me try to log in again so here i will write admin and then capital a whatever the password we wrote we can we set we need to log in there and let me delete the old lab also let's try to fix this issue click the add lab here now it is working okay so now i have here what i can do in this one as we told we are going to learn the cisco asa add a node and you can see this is a cisco asa i will take cisco asa here and i will take one uh, switch this is one switch here or we can take unmanageable switch also so this one is one switch here here you have unmanageable so anyhow i take on this one let me connect one more here or directly we can connect the router also if you want to save the node because this is a free version we can connect limited device here anyhow let me take some router we can take router or anything or computer here so i will take the router this is a basic topology i am designing let's connect this one i will change the name here like i will give the firewall or asa and this one i will give the name as a switch one this is a switch one and you go to the this switch and give this name is a switch two and this one i can say this is the r1 any name we can give i will give here r1 and here i will give the r2 this is r2 and we need to connect also so what i will do i will connect the cable add a link just try to add the link from here to here from here to here from here to here then from here to here so we can move little if you see here in asa i think i add the link wrong so let me delete and i will add again <coughs> i will connect this so we are using this interface if you see topology we can make little big or let me do this way i will move this here okay like this so this will be good and if you want we can zoom in also this one and now we can power on the device so let me power on first asa firewall and we can try to use so this power on already and we can take the console so this is a console of the asa firewall open click here and this one you can press enter and check this asa firewall is booting up we need to wait for some time okay so what we will do here we need to wait and then after that we will do the initial configuration in the asa firewall so you need to remember here also the password because uh, here in the real world let me show you also in the real world when you press enter it will go without asking any password but here you have one password default password we will check now okay let it boot up we will do after that
so if you see still it is booting up we need to wait for some time still it is booting up so now let's see it is uh, still booting up ASA firewall is taking time to boot up and here it will be ready let's see so password we need to check because by default whatever we take we have the nothing no password but here in the Cisco modeling lab, we have the password capital C Cisco one at the rate three. So we need to verify, we need to check that one. So this is a small, small video we are going to prepare for Cisco ASA firewalls, how to configure all that stuff in the Cisco modeling lab. So you will get this video in the CML playlist. You can watch there. So see here, this is a firewall we can say and now I can press enter let me do the configuration I will write enable and they are asking me the password here enable and the password so remember here password Cisco capital C remaining is small 1 at the rate 3 and press enter so you can go inside if you are confused let me write down somewhere here see here this is a password I can write here I can make the bold here this is a password let me write down here Cisco okay one at the rate three this is a password you need to remember this one okay so when i write the password we can see we go here inside and here you can see unlicensed so here i go inside and i will say would you like to enable this i will say no i don't want to do now what we can do first i will change the name of the device so same thing as we do in the cisco router I will write host name and change the name of the device after that what you need to check if you want to write like show IP interface brief this command we are giving in the Cisco router and switch but here you will get error because here without IP you need to give you uh, here let me write show I interface IP brief so here see this command we are using in the Cisco router and switch but here in the Cisco firewall you need to write IP after interface show interface IP brief like this so when you check you have here the management interface here and you have internal data you can see these two interface we have giga g0 by 0 and we have another one g0 by 1 so these two interface we can use and we can assign the IP address to these two interface and we can say like maybe this is a inside zone this one we can say inside zone outside zone like that we can do so let me put the label here this side we can say inside zone okay inside zone we can say and the another one we can say outside zone so this is inside and i will write here outside so let me write here this is the outside zone we can say I will write here outside outside zone okay so this we need to configure also in the ASA so we can configure no worries so here I can keep this and here we need to assign the IP and do the configuration so let's go here so what I will do here I will go under the interface so what interface we have here I will use that one interface giga you have so g0 by 0 okay this one outside interface we have g0 by 0 so after that I can write name if what name I need to give inside or outside so this one we are saying outside okay so we can write here outside I give this name so whenever we write outside automatically the security level they will set as a 0 zero means they are not going to trust so after that i can write ip address and what ip i want to assign example here i am going to use 192.168.2.1 uh, and give the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and you press enter and write no shirt okay and now i can exit we have another interface i will write interface g0 by 1 and then here I will write here I name if name if inside okay when we set inside automatically you will have the 
security level as a hundred here you can see so now after that what we can do here we can assign the ip address same as we done i can write here ip address like inside we will use 192.168.1.1 give a space 255.255.255.0 and write no shut here so we assign the ip address okay if you want to check how you can check if you want to check the interface here also you can write show instead of writing ip you can write show interface ip brief now you can see we assign the ip address to these two interface and it is up so this is a basic configuration we done and here if you want to check you can write show running configuration interface and press enter they will show you only interface detail so this is the command just to check the interface detail if you want to check in the cisco asa firewall just write show running configuration interface and we have some more also example if you want to check only the g0 by 0 you can write show running configuration interface g0 by 0 it will show you only g0 by 0 detail if you want to check g0 by 1 then same command you can write show running configuration interface g0 by 0 it will show you g0 by 0 detail what else we can say you can write like this also show interface interface g0 by 0 okay ip brief this way also we can write show interface you want, if you want to filter example if you write like this show interface ip brief it will show you all the interface but you want to check only particular interface then you can write show interface g0 by 0 and after that you can write ip brief this is also another command to check particular interface if you want to check this particular interface so this is a basic thing we done here today what we learn we learn here how to change the name of the firewall how we can set the security and how we can assign the ip address here okay and if you want i can put the label here i can put here this site we are assigning ip 192.168.2.1 slash 24 okay and the other site we are assigning the ip let me write down here in this site we are using 192.168.1.1 slash 24 and i can make this bold okay so by seeing this one you will have the idea if you see or I can zoom out and you can see this is our topology I done this one and what else I can do here if I want to save the configuration I will write write memory when I write here write memory to save the configuration so whatever configuration we done in this video I save here so I write WR memory okay so with this one we can save the configuration this is a basic lab we done first what we done here we change the name of the firewall if you want to see the comments here what i done see here once we log in they are asking me the password so i put this one cisco one at the rate three this is the first thing i done then i can go in the enable mode after that i change the name of the device same like we change in the router cisco router and cisco switch after that with this command we cannot check the interface status as we can check in the cisco router and the cisco switch but we need to remove IP from here. You need to put IP in this place like I done here. So with this one, you can check the interface detail here. You can see these are the interface available in this firewall. And after that, you can go under that interface example. I go here G0 by 0 and you need to define this is inside or outside in the Cisco ASA firewall. So I write here name if outside. So we set the level as a security level outside. So by default, they will put the zero. So they will not trust this region then we will assign the ip same procedure how we configure the ip inside the cisco router and write no shirt same thing you will go for another interface go under the interface write name if inside and you are defining this interface inside so they will trust and they will put as a hundred and we can assign the ip address and with this ip we can check show interface ip brief to check the interface detail and here i shown you some shortcut like if you want to check only interface detail generally what we are writing we are writing show run so it will show you all configuration now we don't want to see all configuration then we can write here show run interface so it will show you all the interface whatever you have that detail only if you want to filter also particular you want to see only particular one interface like g0 by 0 you can write show running configuration interface g0 by 0 you will get only particular that interface detail 
and if you want to check for other interface same thing you will write and change here the interface what you want to see so it will show you that one and this one to check the show ip interface brief to check that interface detail and to save the what we can say if you want to check show interface g0 by 0 ip brief with this one you, you can get the status of that particular interface and if you want to save configuration whatever we done you can write write memory with that one you can save the configuration as we do in the cisco router so we will end this session now in our next class we are going to learn other configuration what we can do so now i can switch off this firewall i can stop this firewall and we will see in our next class thank you bye